I've always healed with the moon cycles, but I didn't know what I was doing. And I was reading back my book and I, ca- I look at the date where I wrote some, some of the, the chapters and it was matching with some of the moon's phases. And at that time, I kind of realized that I was following the moon phase, but I didn't understand what each moon phase was, how is it was affecting me or assisting me. And then, and I don't know if you saw on Patreon, I put a nice article about the moon phases and the healing stages. And again, that was a download. I just wrote it in like five minutes. It was just like writing and I didn't even think about it. It was just coming down. And I felt it resonated a lot to how I experienced healing when my healing was matching with, uh, my healing process was matching with the, the moon phases. So we are in the moon phase, the new moon, sorry, the new moon phase. Of course, we have other influences, which sign, which planets are, are, are crossing. And I don't understand any of that. This is not my, you know, my part of understanding. And I'm sure if you all have read and like to study, please bring it on. And you might find that the information you have kind of fitting with the information that another person has. And then we can put a really nice puzzle together. But the moon, the new moon is basically is imagine you have a mask on your face and there's light shining at the back. Okay, that's the new moon. And what's happening is when the line is shining at the back, your subconscious is, is brightening up. So lots of little moments of awareness. Yeah. Uh, this is when we start picking up all oh, uh, same situation, but now I'm seeing it in a different way. Or perhaps you're noticing how you're acting, how you're speaking. You're noticing how you feel when someone does something to you that, you know, they speak in a certain tone and then you realize exactly how you feel. As before, you're just reacting back, but you didn't feel what you felt. <laughs> and then all of a sudden you feel it and you think, oh, that makes me feel awful. Right, let's look into it. So these little awarenesses moments, that's where the new moon is going to bring the new moon is bringing awareness okay and the new moon was yesterday for the peak of it right so now we we are going into the quarter moon so what's happening is the line is shining a little bit less and the the in the subconscious so you're going to get less awarenesses but then you're going to be able to see through those awarenesses a little bit more where you're going to find yourself in situations and be able to see a different perspective and act in a slightly different way and get a different outcome. And that expands your understanding about um, that version of yourself for that specific situation, okay? So you're going to go through little versions of yourself and exploring that through the next seven days until the first quarter moon. And then through the first quarter moon, when it's half and half, you, pre- you pretty much have have picked up those moments of awarenesses. You have a theme, a topic to it, right? Maybe even a specific trauma, perhaps, or a specific situation. And you're going to put into action. You're going to go, right, this time I'm not going to act like this. I'm going to say this way. This time I'm going to speak up. This time I'm just going to take a breath, right? This is when you put action to 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 make um to create a different outcome and every time we create we create a different outcome we create an expansion of that situation so if we're talking about if you're feeling rejected for example and the situation comes up again you will understand that that feeling it means rejection you're going to get an idea what that rejection is coming from in the past right you're going to have like a story that will flash back to you a remembrance and then you're going to the first quarter you're going to then um act and it could be projection it could be reaction but it could also be a very thought out action okay but it's a moment of action it's a moment where you expand that consciousness of rejection because you're expanding how that version of you will be acting or being with that feeling of rejection but it's about feeling as well acknowledging accepting 
And then we go to the full moon, right? Which is full on. <laughs> Everything's full on. So you, you really go through a very hyper um, moment of euphoric, uh, lots of emotions. You all experience this one full moon on another. And if you have been working on those awarenesses and following the full the, the moon phase and the healing stage, so the next healing stage after you accept and acknowledge your emotions um, is to feel and release. Yeah, so there's a little bit of release through the full moon, but only if you feel. And there is also um, an exploration of those energies in yourself, those emotions in yourself. So how how is that connected to other trauma bonds, to other coping mechanisms, to other limiting beliefs? And then it expands into you to see all that, okay? So it can be overwhelming, it can be confusing, and it can, can get you a little bit unsettled and ungrounded. And then we, we deem down to the last quarter moon, which is when you start to clean up all that confusion, right? You start to put the puzzle together. You start to decide what doesn't resonate anymore, what you can release, let go, and, and how you're going to be different on that version of yourself from now on, right? So this is where you're going to say, right, now, from now on, when I feel rejected, I'm going to do this. And then you integrate. So it's an integration phase and you have another seven days to do that. But then as you integrate, because you then step up, I don't like to say step up, but you cleared a layer, um, you cleared you pulled a layer of the veil something else comes up for you to see and that's the new moon okay and what could be happening is if you are merging your healing process with the moon it becomes a smoother and you know when you're aware that you don't want to be you, you don't get stuck too long on you know shame and guilt and um all those puddles of mud that we talked about and you also understand uh, at each point where you can get stagnant if you don't if you don't allow yourself to feel and and use not feel but use the moon energy to push you to the next stage of your healing. So I think I remember writing on the on the on the article. Um, so in the new the new moon, just 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 um, an idea. Let's say you're going through a new moon and you're not picking up the you're picking up the awarenesses. If you haven't reflected on this type, you are missing the opportunity to um, to realize what it is and end up getting re-triggered or reliving that awareness that you had. Right. So that's why. Even through healing that can happen, whether you're matching with the moon or not, you can sometimes relive or get re-triggered. So we got to be careful. And we and, and this is where, you know, we can go and do the moon meditations on YouTube from anyone. But what I'm what I like to offer here is that support in between, where we can talk, where we can share, where we can ask questions, where we can so it's really having that support that that um that open space so and I think that's the most important part of any pulse meditation outcome right uh, we do a meditation we don't realize how much these meditations help us on becoming more aware of things in the next week or so right we think it's just happening but it could be that meditation you just done <laughs> um two days ago yeah, and it's so profound. Any meditation is profound because you're setting your intention and you're going with it, committed, right? If you're just doing for doing, like it, let's say if you're just doing meditation driving, nothing's going to happen. You're busy driving. You're not committed. But if you put the intention, you will get something out of it. And we don't have to necessarily understand, you know, what did I realize this week that came from that meditation? It doesn't have to happen that way. But what we do know is that after you 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 enter 
a, a frequency of of any meditation that you decide to enter you enter with the frequency of intention with what was going on in your mind at that time so that's what is going to unravel and unfold for you in the coming days and weeks and the support here which we already have we already have the support so i'm not trying to expand or or change but we already have the support is where we can come in and and just assist you know in that period in between the meditations and then through the first quarter if we struggle you know we could struggle with the lack of action because we're hitting resistance and we don't want to act right so that could cause a stagnation through that phase in a full moon you know if we're not um if we're not allowing ourselves to feel everything the resistance is going to increase is going to bring back fear to the surface and um, it's going to stay with us for a couple of days before we bottle it up down again, yeah? And through the last quarter, because everything is being, you're letting go of a lot of things, um, that if we're not going in, introspect in this phase and really letting go of the old patterns we could fall back into these patterns on the next moon yeah and we could have that repetitive cycle all the time all through the moon phase we're dealing with the same things and how can we break those cycles and we break those cycles through those steps and so uh you know i would love to to just be able to be here with you and do a meditation together, join our energies because you're all very powerful. You're all doing your own self-healing. You all have your frequency. You all have your portal. And if you set your intention on what, you know, what comes up for you and you want to, um, to bring it in, let's bring it in. Um, again, you don't have to speak up. It's all within your heart. Yeah. Um, and I remember last month I went through that phase of there's a lot here. I think I mentioned in a, in a text in a group, there's a lot here. I don't know what I'm feeling. There's a lot. And that was, again, the full moon, right? And then eventually all settled down and I was able to pick out the things I didn't need. And then I went through the cycle with the healing last month without realizing that when I look back, it was all there for me to see. And I think that's how the, the download came through. So I've been doing it through this, <laughs> yeah, from 2021. This whole book was was healing through the, fa- the, the moon phases. Um, and I had to really put together this week to really figure it out. Um, the synchronicities of the stories that it's in there. Um, and even though I noticed, I didn't know how, but now it's all very clear. So I don't know if you have noticed you connecting to the moon, sometimes your menstrual period or sometimes uh, moods, changes, phases, and you go in or you're more flamboyant or you're more introvert. Um, 